In this video, we'll continue our discussion of the integers, beginning with operations. Operations are how we let the integers interact with one another to form new numbers. The main operations are addition, denoted by the plus sign, subtraction, denoted by the minus sign, and multiplication, denoted by a dot. Now you may have seen multiplication previously represented with an x, However, we will refrain from using this notation for multiplication since x is often used as a variable, which will be a topic we will cover later on in this video series. When computing operations with integers, it's important to keep in mind two things, the size or value of both numbers involved, as well as their sign, that is, whether they're positive or negative. For example, to compute 5 minus 2, note that 5 is bigger than the number we're subtracting off, which is 2, and 5 is positive, so the result will be positive 3. However, if we switch the order of these numbers and instead compute 2 minus 5, note that 5 is bigger than the starting number 2, and so the result will be negative 3. When multiplying integers, the sign of the result is dependent upon the size of the starting numbers. For example, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, while negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Remember that when multiplying two integers, a positive times a negative gives us a negative, while both positive times positive and negative times negative both yield a positive result. Now let's talk about compound statements. Remember that a statement is a declarative sentence that can be evaluated as either true or false. Well, what if we have more than one statement that say the same thing? For example, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, but 3 is also equal to 7 minus 4. Rather than write these two statements individually, we can combine them into one compound statement. 1 plus 2 equals 3 equals 7 minus 4. We place the result, 3, in the center, surrounded by two equal signs and each of the individual statements. We aren't limited to just statements about equality, however. Consider the statements 2 plus 7 equals 9, and 10 is greater than 9. The number 9 appears in both of these statements, so we can place that in the center and create the compound statement 2 plus 7 equals 9 is less than 10. Notice that we change the greater than symbol to a less than symbol, since the statement 10 is greater than 9 is equivalent to the statement 9 is less than 10. Here are some more examples for you to try out. Pause the video now and try writing each of the following statements as one compound statement. Here are the solutions for each of these examples. Did you get the same answers? When evaluating expressions involving multiple operations, we follow the sequence known as the order of operations. At the top of this order are parentheses, which indicate which operations need to be executed first before moving on to the next. For example, to compute 3 plus 5 times 9, we first compute 3 plus 5 as it appears inside the parentheses to get 8, and then we multiply 8 by 9 to get 72. Similarly, to compute 8 minus 2 times 3, we first compute 2 times 3 as they appear inside the parentheses. That gives us 6, and then we compute 8 minus 6 to get 2. Here are some more examples to get some practice with the order of operations. Remember that if more than one set of parentheses are enclosed inside of each other, always work from the inside out before moving on. Here are the solutions to these examples. Did you get the same answers that we did?